So we're here at Embedded World 2019, and uh, hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Jack O'Gallo. I'm a senior marketing, uh, senior director of marketing here at Cyprus. And uh, you're launching a new PSOC 64. What is PSOC 64? So PSOC 64 takes the hardware-based security that's in the PSOC 6 architecture and adds firmware that establishes a root of trust. When we establish a root of trust, then you can build your application on top of that without having to worry about building that functionality from scratch. So it's right here? Yeah, so it's in the chip. And what we do is we also provide the option of adding IoT platform software so that you can actually connect to the cloud with a solution that just works. So is uh, this one? Yes. And this is, uh, how does it compare with the PSOC 6? Is it otherwise is, is similar or? Yeah, great question. So the way we're offering these chips, we're offering you a good, better, best solution. So if you want to just start with PSOC 6 and add your own firmware, you're free to, free to do so. You can also then choose the PSOC 64 device that has a root of trust installed. That's the better solution. And the best is with the IoT platform and the root of trust installed. And what is the best? That's, that last one is the best. 64 plus? No, it's in the 64. It's the one, we call it a, stand, a standard part. And that standard part gives you the IoT platform for cloud connectivity, gives you the root of trust, all on a PSOC 6 architecture. And uh, is this explaining here what's going on? Yes. So um, so how does this compare with the, the ARMv8M? Or is it ARMv8M or? Great question. So. This provides all the capability of any V8M-based solution with the added capability of the root of trust that I mentioned and, um, uh, and also the, uh, the additional firmware that we provide as well. So the best way to think about it, can I turn the page? Yeah. So the best way to think about it is the PSOC 6 architecture. We have the dual core here that effectively delivers a very similar solution to the M33. M4 plus, M0 plus. Correct. Um, but then we also add the firmware for the root of trust, and we also then add the uh, software for the IoT platform, and you get a fully integrated solution. In uh, addition. And so, so are you doing, for example, let's say the security on this one, while this one does something else, or how does it usually work? Great question. So. What we do is all the firmware <laughs> from a programmer perspective is delivered on the M M0 and we take the M0 over. What that does is it gives you the M4 and it preserves the familiar programming model of the M4 for you to design your secure device. So um, how can you, uh, how, so you say that it has all of the stuff from the ARM V8M. Right. There's nothing missing from the V8M. It, it, not only is there nothing missing, it actually adds an extra degree of isolation in the device that enables us to isolate this root of trust um, and make sure that it is held separately from the user memory space, which is where the IoT platform will reside. And uh, in here in the platform, is a software that you can demonstrate some, or do you have a lot of different things that are here at the booth? Well, yeah, so usually these IoT platforms are tied to the particular cloud service that you're choosing, and so we'll have different versions of this for Google, for AWS, yeah. uh, for Google, and other popular clouds. So they hook into the AWS in an in a optimal way? Correct. And All Google the is slightly different? That's right, that's correct. And um, do you have a lot of customers implementing the PSOC 6? Yeah, so we, we're uh, getting, yeah, seeing great your, popularity in wearables. We're seeing great popularity um, in uh, uh, smart appliances. Uh, in any smart home application, we're seeing great traction today. Um, E-locks are another space we're seeing great, uh, great traction. La last year, we did a vi video about the PSA, right? Yes. So what was uh, Cypress's role in, uh, in, in that? We just use part of it, or you actually implement you're part of implementing it? Or? Yes, so, so we are actually collaborating with ARM quite heavily. And the PSA certification that we announced here at the show, we achieved the first level, which is level one certification. That was last year, right? That was this year, no, at this show. This year. Yeah. This year. yeah. And what that says is we implement the isolation in the chip to be able to protect the secrets in the chip in the way the PSA suggests. And so we're able to achieve that level one certification. That was certified through a third party lab called Rescure. And so uh, um, that's a good thing. We hope to be able to achieve actually the level two certification very quickly, which will then fully give you the, the uh, uh, fully demonstrate and certify the isolation capability of PSOC 6. So how do you get to level two? What do you need to do? 
So for level two certification, what Riskio will, will do is they'll actually try to attack the device and prove that the device can withstand the attacks that have been defined. All right, so uh, is there a chance that uh, uh, Cypress is going to make uh, ARM V8M devices too? In the future, all, all things are possible. All right. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. <laughs>